in general, they exist in a lattice. So in other words, in general, they don't really exist as these molecules that float around like you might think of a water molecule. Um, the easiest example is, a, is salt, salt, table salt, sodium chloride, right? Think about it, sodium, and look at your periodic table. Sodium, Na, is on the left-hand side of the periodic table. We call it a metal. And chlorine, chloride, is on the right-hand side. So it's a metal plus a non-metal. So according to this definition, it should be ionic, and it is ionic. Now, if you look at a salt crystal and you look at it under a microscope, if you could get a microscope powerful enough to look at everything, you wouldn't see all these little sodium chloride molecules floating around you know, as individual units. What you would see is it really a lattice, which is like a grid arrangement of all of the atoms of sodium and chlorine that are kind of like bound in this beautifully perfect, beautifully repetitive lattice. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.